online or in presence? One, two or three years program? Italian or English class? Listen, those are just some of the questions I've asked myself, and honestly, it took me quite some time to figure them out. But finally, here's my choice. Hi, I'm Lauro, and today we are two months away to start the interior design school I chose. First of all, what a better spot to choose a school than Riviera Romagnola, the place where I always go when I'm looking for peace, mental organization, and relax. People in here are positive, funny, but above all, a glass of wine is always waiting for you. I can't count how many times I've looked for a spot like this, where I can grab my Mac, order a cocktail and work at the sunset. All right, now we are chilling on Riviera Romagnola's vibe. Let's cut the chase and tackle each step that stands between us and our new life as interior designer. In my specific case, I divided this exercise in category and I assign a score from one to three to each of them. My goal, of course, is trying to be objective, hoping to make a decision as good as possible. Now, when we are looking for something, nothing beats the combination between Google and ChatGPT. So, let's play a little bit with them. Eventually, the four I selected are Academia Italiana del Design, Yad, Yed, and Fidi. Those are the ones I personally like the most, but above all, they are spread all over the country. Just take in mind there are some other valid alternatives, but we won't discuss about them. At the beginning, I was torn about the course duration, because of one side, the shorter it would have taken, the sooner I could start my business. On the other hand, though, Rome was not built overnight, like the best thing in life that required time and efforts. Under this perspective, a longer course would have given me the possibility to perfectly assimilate every single concept and make it mine. Let's evaluate what we got here. Starting with Academia Italiana, we immediately see the courses available are three years bachelor degree or the shorter one year path. With Yed, even if the names are a little different, we got one academic year or three years diploma option. Yad only offer a postgraduate, one year master or three years undergraduate course. Last but not least, Fidi, with one or two years academic course or the classic three year bachelor degree. Since I opted for the three years course and all the option I selected offer it, three points each. The class program is crucial. Is it gonna be exciting right away with 3D modeling technique, high quality rendering classes, or just a slow, slow start with a bunch of theoretical principles? Do you wanna know more? Let's do it. First and foremost, I simply assign a score from one to 10 to each class, highlighting the one I like the most. In this specific case, Academia Italiana program score is 62. Yet is a little tricky, because even if we got one more class I like a lot, there are much more they haven't captured my interest. Yet program score is 54. Yad really surprised me, with a lot of classes I like, but the same amount I don't. Yad program score is 62. Fidi, unfortunately, offer only half of the classes that repeat themselves in the second semester. Only one I really like, for a total program score of 50. At this point, I was already very excited because just thinking, being there in two months and being surrounded by classes of modeling, graphic design, materials and much more make me feel so thrilled I can barely express myself. Guys, on paper everything looks amazing, but you have to check them out live to tell what is better. You can choose either in person or the online tour. The beauty of those tours, maybe not riding a drone, are a lot like you can view the location, labs and real student works. You can ask as many questions as you want, like software utilized, average hours per week, scholarships and so on. You can meet some of your future professor who most likely works also as interior designers or architects. In my specific case, I spoke with a third 30 years old former student who now is taking care of the interior of houses of very, very famous soccer players. Now, without even thinking about it, the visit in person is a different level of experience. But I get it, not everybody has the possibility to travel to Italy. The virtual tour is definitely a great alternative, so please, please don't skip it. Academia Italiana trained a student with Rhino for 3D modeling, Cinema 4D 
for rendering and the staff have been very polite. YED is more oriented with the industry standard software like 3ds Max for 3D modeling, V-Ray for rendering, they included the Adobe Suite and the staff have been spot on. YAD and FIDI, there's not much to say. The tools coordinator I spoke with were not able to tell me the software utilized, running away from the question simply saying, well, they change every year. For this reason, the staff was below my expectation. Probably you don't know, but I lived the last seven years of my life between United States and Canada, enough to fall in love with English language. So it would be amazing if I could keep speaking it. Italian language and students are amazing, don't get me wrong. But since you will be living anyway for three years in a row in Italy, you will be surrounded by them. An English course, on the other hand, gives you the possibility to be surrounded by international students from all over the world. What does it mean? First, multicultural form of design. Second, an international network of people who one day you know could become partner to run business with. As per today, August 2023, Yad only gives you the Italian option. Same story, Yad keeps losing point because this huge limitation. Compared to private university in the United States, the prices are a little cheaper, but let's check them out. Yearly tuition and enrollment fee included, Academia Italiana costs 10,800 euros a year. YAD goes for 21,400 euros a year. YAD, a little cheaper, at 12,200 euros a year. FIDI, very close to Academia Italiana, at 10,900 euros a year. Of course, all the prices shown don't consider any sort of scholarship, financial aids, or early bird discount. Count. All the schools are very similar in price, with the exception of YED, which is almost two times more. Now, I have to be honest, at the beginning I was looking only for online courses, but despite the wide research I made, I couldn't find anything made by Italian professor, designer or architect. So eventually I opted for an in-person journey. Why necessary made by Italians? Well, until I moved to the United States in 2016, I've always neglected the beauty of my country, thinking all the best was abroad. But the more I was living in the US, the more I was realizing how stunning my country was. Besides, because I want to learn interior design from one of the few top countries in the world very well known for it. But above all, it's home. My home. Talking about physical attendance, all the institute above require you to be there in person in order to get the academic certificate. This certificate is some sort of bachelor degree in Europe. A side note on YAD, because even if they offer the possibility to join them in two locations, only one of them is entitled to provide you the academic certificate. Again, YAD is the less flexible option. A very important thing to take in mind is the location of the school. In fact, if you are picturing yourself for three years in a row in the Amalfi Coast, but eventually you pick the school in Torino, most likely you will be a little disappointed. Just remember, the institute I mentioned have branches in few specific cities in Italy. So if you have any particular preferences, do your research first. The big advantage of YET is the fact that they have branches inside and outside Italy, where you can spend a semester. So it's a big plus. Guys, of course, if you need any advice, just drop a comment down below and I'll do all I can to help you out. It is true, Italy is beautiful everywhere, but my favorite location has been chosen for two simple reasons. First, I wanted to live in the city that represents the soul of the Italian history, with the most breathtaking expression of architecture and design. Second, since my wife and I already have an apartment in this city, it made more sense also from a financial standpoint. Now, unless you have encountered yourself the total score, here's the result. The fourth place with 14 points goes to YAD, the not prepared staff, the limitation to the Italian language only, and the single location able to provide you the academic certificate have drastically affected the score. The third place with 15 points goes to FIDI, where again the staff, but also the not so engaging program and location are the responsible. The second place with 19 points goes to Yed. The only real downside was the price for sure. Wait a minute, how come? 
What's going on? I need to choose a winner. So the winner is... Yet. The crucial point that made up my mind was definitely the school tour, where I came across a very young, organized and prepared staff. I still remember after the tour, I already knew I would have chosen them. And now you know I will be soon a YET student and I will walk you through my whole journey in how to become interior designer from scratch in Italy. The thing is, I couldn't find anybody on YouTube showing this step-by-step -step experience. So I said, you know what? I want to be him. Remember, Italy is the country where I was born and raised. This is why I have so many things I want to share you will struggle to believe. The YET course officially starts in October, only two months away, and I still have so much to prepare, like... If you want to know what comes next, stay tuned.